even looking at the DBs, because this is what I study. I love doing it. And, you know, I hear them talk about the kid from Florida State or I hear them talk about the kid from Alabama. Well, my problem with it, and I'm, I'm going to kind of talk about safeties now or DBs when you talk about quarterbacks, but we're talking about the kid Fitzpatrick from Alabama. Well, he's played in the diamond and nickel spot. He doesn't know what space looks like. And so as I watched him and, and, and try to get a better understanding how, how Alabama played him, he was there most of his reps. And, I mean, it's the same thing with the kid from Arizona that just signed with the Texans. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. So for fans, one, Bernard played safety in the NFL for like nine years, ten years? Yep. So tell people, when you say dime or nickel spot, tell people what where that is on the football field. Explain to them, other than – cornerback with where the diver nickel is so this is where i need to get my board behind me but i i think you know when you look at that uh diamond and nickel you're going to be inside of uh, a corner either on the right or the left side so if you're a nickel you're going to have more of uh king's personnel where you have three receivers one tight end one running back so you line up uh nickel with with king's personnel if you have so he's going to be playing in the slot a lot right so you'll be in the slot next inside of a corner now, if you are in queen or in uh, jet personnel, which is five receivers or four receivers um, and a running back, you're on the other side of the opposite side of the nickel inside of that cornerback. So when we look at these guys and, and we say, OK, well, they were able to they were just better athletes than guys in college. And now when you bring them to the pros, you know, when you're asking a kid that's been playing inside his whole two years out of his career in college, and you ask him to go play in space as a safety in the National Football League, that's one of the hardest things you can ask any player to do because you're giving the ball to elite receivers, elite tight ends, and running backs in space. They're so used to catching a guy at seven yards, if that. That's max that they'll catch a guy. Now you put a safe, now you're playing safety at 12, 14, and in Greg's uh, defense, 22 yards down a football field. That's too much space, too much grass that you give an elite receiver and a rookie uh, defensive back. And I, 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 a lot of guys talk about the, the, the kid from Florida State or the kid, like I said, the kid from Alabama. And if we if we rewind a little bit, we look at Cleveland traded up or I don't think they traded up, but they, they got uh, the Peppers kid from Michigan. And I told a lot of people he's an outstanding player. He's a special player with the ball in his hands. He was a special player in Michigan's defense. He's kind of okay was, last year. He's kind of okay. Exactly. He struggled because now it's space. It's He's not playing close to the line of scrimmage. He's not playing linebacker.